Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we take a look at an asset in the asset store called RPG Polypack Light. Now, the light does imply that this is uh, just a demo version, which is fair enough. Um, the, the way you got to see it is these are nice ways of, for example, taking a look at an asset, quickly using an asset to get a view of what the paid content would be like. And the developer does have paid content for this, but we are just dealing with this free version. So I would assume this one is always going to be free. On that note, it is 2.2 megabytes, which is good. So this is going to be really geared towards mobile gaming. And I really, really like the look of this. I think it's a really nice asset. So let's take a look at the uh, demo scene that it comes with. You guys know I always love a demo scene, which is right there. Uh, folders laid out nice and neatly, which is always a good way of finding things. I really like it. Uh, quality. Now, I am a fan of low poly. I do make that known. Not everybody is a fan of low poly, uh, but I, in this case, I think it's really, really nice and really well suited. And you can probably develop a really low poly RPG quite nicely with this. The demo scene comes with a little village um, all built up. Looks fairly nice. And obviously you can go that little bit further if you wanted to and add a bit of post-processing. So if I go to the game view and there's our camera, you, you guys that follow me, you know I love the post-processing. So it's all dependent on what you want to do with post-processing, how you want it to look. These are just the... Uh, profiles I quickly use for various different things whilst doing these uh, reviews. So I guess you know, it, it's all down to you. So overall, what do we think of the quantity? Well, the quantity is not too bad at all, considering it's free. So in the prefabs folder, we've got all the nature stuff, all the props and all the structures. And we can see here it is nicely laid out in all these folders. It's always good to see nice and neat folders. I, I really can't stress that enough. And it's just a case of dragging and dropping where you want things to be. You don't necessarily have to just uh, use this scene. Scenes are always a good idea to get an idea of what it could look like. Uh, we've got all the props, all the nature things. Now, one thing that did strike me as a little bit odd with this is this isn't a terrain. This is sections of a terrain all around like this as you can see it's not one gigantic terrain but that's not necessarily a bad thing i guess it's all dependent on how you want to build your game the other thing is this in the sky this isn't a sky box this is its own object which is really clever really really clever i do like it most people do go for the skybox option, but this is also another option you can use. It, again, it just depends on your own personal preference and how much you want to deal with what you're creating. So, ease of use, real easy to use. It's it, it's so easy. I mean, it, how, how, how easy could it be to create all of this? Uh, I love using this asset. Uh, I think it's a great piece to use, um, and that there's... Not a really bad thing I can say about it. Obviously, like I said, not everyone is into low poly. I guess that's all dependent on you personally. Um, play around with the lighting, see what different lighting effects you can get, change it. Look at that. That's kind of cool. What if we have like that? Nice. So you could do whatever you need to do with it. Extras, nothing really in the way of extras per se. You get everything you would expect to see within a demo version of uh, an asset package. You know, we've got little table chairs there with all the things on, got ladders, we've got the little props here, there and everywhere. Uh, overall quality I do think is really nice, but as I said repeatedly, I am a fan of low poly. So you could easily use this to prototype a nice low poly RPG or not necessarily even an RPG. It could be anything uh, low poly. And I guess you don't really have to stick with what you get here. You could add your own textures if you wanted to. Again, that is the way you can customize things. And I guess if you want to go one step further, what well, if you change the albedo and give it a really red tint? You got some kind of creepy horror village or something like that now. I think it's really clever. So, as you guys know, I do not rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't, and I probably would recommend this to a lot of people. If you're a fan of low poly and would like to look at maybe developing something of this nature, 
then yeah, give this a go. See what you can create from it because there's always something new to learn from an asset package like this. Even if you're not creating it, you could just take maybe the little milk jug thing over here or maybe just this low poly tree or just this building here. That may be useful for one of your games somewhere along the line. So yes, I'd recommend this asset. Guys, have you used this asset yourself? If you have, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you've got an asset on the asset store, let me know. Link me to it because I'd love to check it out and maybe review it on one of these little videos. Finally, guys, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well. You can stay up to date with everything I've got on video game development on my channel because there's loads, just loads to learn and loads to see and loads to do. Guys, thank you very much for watching.